with with that moment and that transformation, what was what was up with the fire being spewed out and just like enveloping his head? Like that was crazy. People call Goku <laughs> Ghost Rider. Yeah, exactly. I feel like that's like his unofficial name, Ghost Rider Goku. <laughs> yeah. Crazy name, but, um... Ghost Rider Goku, exactly. Yeah, so I, I had this idea, like, because uh, I don't get too much into lore when I write. I just want one basic point, and I want to just build out of that. Like, if you think about God of War 4, Kratos just needs to get to the top of the mountain. That's the whole story. And then all this other cool stuff happens, and they're able to splinter around in all sorts of directions, and it always come back to that idea. He has to get to the top of the mountain. And then he, well, he does. <laughs> but I, I, people have their chance to play. They know why not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh so i don't go too much into the lore i kind of like the lore get created out of what i want to make sometimes so this was one of those times so i always had this idea that like super saiyan the power of a super saiyan in my version of this is some it's like an essence that you have to control and it, it it's, it's fire it's light it's, it's inside your body it's the core of your soul so if you can't control it what happens to goku is what happens to you and you'll eventually die you'll incinerate you'll burn burn away and if you can control it, you're someone more like Vegeta, who can just make it work. And that's why he has to try to really control it when he's getting, like, almost winded. But, um, so it being, like, a, a fire that's in your body, like, it's got to come out, right? And if it, like, that's why, like, I saw this piece of wood burning once. Like, uh, it was just a piece of wood. And, like, the, when you put the fire out, like, the embers, they just start to kind of, like, uh, roll on the wood. And I thought, like, that would be such a cool idea if I... In, implemented that because the wood is still there but it's like slowly deteriorating so that's why his chest starts to burn and then it, it's burning him from the inside out and so when he spews it out i don't know i, I just thought that would be a cool idea and uh oh it was oh yeah, that was, boy. that's a crazy description <laughs> <laughs> so it was <laughs> yeah, no, so was crazy. i had a uh, so i have a question off of that then because i don't think anyone was expecting that like mm -mm. Not a single no soul. <laughs> like, not a single soul. You know, there, there's, like I said, there's so many different reasons why people love this. And it's because it's, it's, it's the perfect way to do a reimagined version of what is already known. Like, you take what's there and then you add all this sauce to it. That is the beautiful and best way to make like a, a remake or a reimagining or retelling you know what i'm saying like obviously it's completely different because there's no broly in dragon ball there's no vegeta in dragon ball okay there's no there's not there's no saying pods there's none of that right there was y'all get my point right but the but but taking it that far it was like it was, it was like, it, like the only word I can think of is perfect. It was done perfectly. Be, like, like legit, like it was done perfectly because when you think about it, right? Especially nowadays, everything modernized to today's standards, there's always got to be some sort of like power up, especially in shonen anime. There's always mm -hmm. some type of transformation or something like that. Like, like there's, a, there's always going to be a moment where the protagonist or you know whoever's involved is gonna have to be on a come up to overcome whatever threats in front of them and like the fact that you it's almost like you kind of played all of us in like the best way like this is like this is like the kind of surprise that you make you 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 it's like you bring you bring us all to chuck e cheese but then chuck e cheese behind the door turns into like the most OD crazy theme park or some shit with all the best rides and attractions and everything. And we're just like, what the hell? So you started this with Dragon Ball. You say, oh, here, eh, just Dragon Ball, right? And then wait, Broly? Vegeta from the future? What? And then Goku with a f fucking transformation <laughs> like that? Because I even said, I was, I thought you were going in the Super Saiyan 4 direction. As soon as I saw that fur on his hand, I was like, oh my God, we're going, we're going primal. <laughs> and then, th then that, I, I, I was lost. I was so lost in the best way possible. I literally that, like, no one, no one could have saw that coming. So that was, 
a lot of a lot of praise with that but what i wanted to ask out of all of that was that hypothetically if there was a sequel if there was right the next time we see goku is he still gonna have all of those markings on his body or is that gonna fade away like over time i won't elaborate too much but i can tell you that those are just uh they're abrasions on your skin at the end so okay. that's not like his new base form or anything like that okay his body's just still burned that's nice so okay nice that's cool i mean yeah. will there be more <laughs> Is that Listen, what you know? will we're gonna save more? that for later let's save, yeah, let's save that for later i'll, I'll, I'll elaborate on one i got on some thing. more questions yeah go ahead, okay, go ahead. So you were saying about oh uh, i played everyone i gave them something that they weren't expecting and this sort of stuff but you know if you think about it um a lot of times people don't attempt this sort of stuff is because if you change even one percent of something people really love they'll like rip it apart or whatever and maybe they're they're not ready to be criticized in that sort of way um this was made for me so like it doesn't matter what was coming my way but also i didn't change it by one percent i changed it by a lot more than that so i didn't give people a version a cheaper different version of what they already know I just give them something different and maybe there's something in there for creators like if you just really do what you want to do um and you're just like all about making the art and making it as good as it can be for the sake of it being good for you uh there might be that might be like some form of controlling like the outcome uh, you can never really control the outcome but maybe there's something in there you know that's a great thing you said because um I first of all, I just, I should say this. I think you just you should you should just continue. Don't you know what? Don't even ignore the seven million people that watched it. Ignore them. They don't they don't matter, right? Just make just make something else for yourself. You know, just just have at it. You know, just just have at it. You know, because clearly your judgment is fire. Okay, like you and you said it right. You said it. You said. And that is the, the, oh my God, the, the truth among truths is that a lot of times people do not like change because there's a fear that when you change it, it's going to suck. Mm. But see, you took, but see for you, it wasn't a risk because it was for you. It was for yourself. You wanted to do it for you, right? So realistically, there was no risk. Yeah. You were just doing it because you are a fan. You love Dragon Ball. And you wanted to just present it as such. And you've been completely 100 about it. And it just so happened that you changed like so much and everybody's okay with it. And that's a part <laughs> of the reason why everybody loves it. Like everything we've, we've talked about so far is also true, right? You know, it's, 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 it was, it's something that a lot of us adults can can really absorb and appreciate and you know it brings us back to like how we felt when we watching it but at the same time bro dude you really you really did something monumental like monumental like 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 didn't you tell me last week that like like your nephews are are, are mad at you because you don't realize how big this shit is <laughs> <laughs> yeah like yeah my sister's I think now people... a Dragon Ball Z expert. She's telling me, so I'm watching all these reactions and stuff. I get it now. Why your thing is so good? Because everyone's saying like, oh, he also sense this and that. <laughs> so I, at least out of all this, I turned my sister into a Dragon Ball Z fan, which is awesome. <laughs> That's Dude, crazy. That is... I think, I think more people are okay with the change, though, just because it's like the way you set it up. Like it's in a different timeline, essentially. So like you're free yeah. to kind of do whatever you want, but you... I mean, you still have certain morals within the Dragon Ball era. So, I mean, you write it the way you feel is the right way. But it's your own story at the end of the day. Which is, but it, it's still fire. Yeah, it's just <laughs> it's so, so rare to so see fire. content that has no head ass in it these days. Exactly. Like none, not even a single piece. Listen, Nasir, I will just say this as well. Like you said, it was for you. You had a projection of, okay, maybe 180,000 people will watch this. Well, no disrespect, I got shit on. 
because seven million later okay <laughs> seven million plus later and it's still going up right the patreon still going up and uh yeah people people are really really with it and it's it's it it, it, it leaves it leaves a lot of folks super excited and just thrilled that even the way you did it and the way you left it open <laughs> you know but we'll i'm saving all of the 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 inevitable for for later into into this because there's there's so many other things that i want to ask you oh that's that good shit. <laughs>